Okay, everybody, this is Matthew Himes from Arbor Biosciences. Uh, thank you for attending uh, our web webinar on uh, MyTag's uh, custom designed uh, fish probes. Uh, we're probably gonna give it about a minute or so just to make sure that we get to, uh, a few more people in that are uh, going to attend the webinar. So if you give me about 30 seconds, uh, then I'll be able to start. Okay. Um, again, thank you everybody for uh, attending our webinar. Uh, this will be presented by Linda Barthel, uh, the lead product scientist here at Arbor Biosciences for our MyTags portfolio of uh, custom designed and synthesized uh, fish probes. Uh, she'll give a very detailed overview uh, of the product line, um, the wide variety of applications that these are being adopted to uh, from haplotyping, um, uh, 3D imagery, and uh, a variety of other exciting applications. Um, we will be taking questions at the end, uh, so if you uh, want to uh, provide a question during uh, the webinar, go ahead and, and use it on the, the sidebar uh, on the right. There's a section for questions. Uh, you can ask that, and then Linda will address all the, the questions at the end. Uh, with that, we'll get started. Uh, Linda? Sciences team, thank you for taking the time to join our webinar highlighting the MyTag cytogenomic product line. My name is Linda Barthel. I'm going to walk you through the MyTag products, which are synthetic oligonucleotide probes used for in situ hybridization. The agenda for the, today's webinar we're going to go through briefly uh, Arbor Biosciences. biology applications. A brief overview of the company. Mm. Arbor Biosciences is located mm -hmm. in Ann Arbor, Michigan. This puts us centrally located in a strong research community surrounded by Wayne State University in Detroit, Michigan, Michigan State University in Lansing, and of course, University of Michigan located here in Ann Arbor. Core markets are a little synthesis technology, molecular biology kits and reagents, and those involved in synthetic biology. Because of our vast product line, we do have hundreds of publications out there featuring the use of our products from Arbor Biosciences. So within our product line, along with the MyTag cytogenomic focus, on the genomic side, we have the NGS library, prep services by the um, featured by the uh, MyRigs group. We have targeted sequencing services by the MyBates and the NGS Guides group. We have the MyCRISPR services involved with genetic and genomic uh, editing. And the MyTXTL product line offers cell-free expression products for those in that particular arena of research. MyTags. So MyTags are custom designed fluorescent and C2 hybridization probes. My tags probes deliver easy visualization of genomic targets. They give you high specificity to your target with minimal background noise. So since my tags are synthetic oligonucleotides, what are the advantages of using synthetic oligos for in C2 hybridization? One of the advantages is that they can be designed to repetitive regions that you're interested in targeting 
they can target specific chromosomal regions, or you can actually target the whole chromosome. Synthetic oligos are computationally designed that will eliminate the need for clone DNA sequences for generation of your probes, and it eliminates that specific probes that may hybridize to off-target sites. Synthetic oligos are synthesized in parallel as a pool of probes. That means you're going to get a large number of unique oligos synthesized simultaneously. Synthetic oligos are designed with PCR primer sequences at both ends. This allows for PCR amplification, giving you unlimited probe resource. It also allows for tagging your probe with a marker for either direct fluorescence or indirect haptin detection. So some of the applications utilizing my tags for in situ hybridization. You have DNA fluorescent in situ hybridization. You have RNA fluorescent in situ hybridization. You have applications utilize chromosome painting where you're not hybridizing to a spot, but you're actually hybridizing to a swap or a patch of the chromosome. You can utilize it for genetic mapping. This is where you're going to locate loci without in the chromosomes or on the DNA. Because we can use my tags for RNA fish, that means you'll be able to utilize the product for spatial temporal patterns of gene expression in, in the tissue or in the cell. So my tags, better by design. So my tags are computationally designed libraries that give you highly specific fish probes. How does this work? So what you do is you have your target region of interest. Within that target region, you have obviously a sequence of oligonucleotides you want to hybridize to. The design process by the bioinformatics team at Arbor Biosciences will go through, take a look at this region, and through the algorithm of the design process, we're going to generate a pot of potential probes that are about 45 base pairs in length that are mapped across the high, entire length of your sequence of interest. These are potential probes. Then we go ahead and we, from this pot of probes, we select out probes for your probe set. These are going to be probes with similar temperature, melting temperature ranges, allowing you to utilize them all within a standard hybridization parameter. And these probes are going to have minimal cross-reactivity to the genome in your species of interest. Once these potential probes are selected out, we go further downstream in the production process where each one of the probes is generated with a fluorescent tag. This tube of probes is sent to the customer. You apply it to your sample. Because you have a pot of several unique or several hundred unique oligos hybridizing to your target, you're going to get a very high specific localization of your target and a very bright optimal signal that will provide excellent contrast for quality microscopy. So, quick overview of the MyTags technology. So, with the Arbor Biosciences Bioinformatics team, you're going to get a free custom design set of probes for your in situ hybridization product. The team can work closely with the researcher to design the probe set. The MyTags probes are available in two different formats. You can get the ready to use labeled fish probes. These are labeled by our production team at Arbor Biosciences, and they are provided at a, in a minimum quantity. You can also, also order what we call renewable immortal libraries. You perform the labeling in your own lab, and this library is amplifiable, giving you an unlimited quantity of probes. We have both fluorescent tags and non fluorescent haptons available for, hybrid, for binding to your MyTags product. So my tag is labeled probe sets. These are ready to use right out of the tube for your experiment. We have what we call single labeled probes. These my tag probes come with one single fluorescent tag on. You're going to get a minimum yield of 700 picomoles. You can get your fluorophore as requested based on your microscopy need. We have quite a, a, a supply available to pick from. If we don't have what you need, we can certainly work with you on, on getting what your need, needs are for your particular microscope application. We also have available non-fluorescent, digoxygenin and haptin, biotin haptins available to tag onto your MyTags. 
fish bones. We also have available and ready to use are the triple label. So this is an upgrade to enhance your signal brightness. Not if we don't have one fluorescent tag on the probe, but what we have are three different three fluorescent tags on the probe. These triple label upgrades are recommended for special circumstances. Those might be where we have low density of probes hybridizing to your target, or we actually have a small target that you are trying to hit with your probes. Featured applications. So with chromosome indexing, you want to target specific DNA fish for detection of specific chromosomal loci. So with MyTags technology, it's possible to do highly specific collection of probes targeting one or more loci on the chromosome. So through a process of selecting the number of loci per chromosome, identifying their location on each arm of the chromosome, and using one or more colors, it's possible to generate a map of every single chromosome of a given species. So in this particular experiment, just two unique probe sets were used to do a complete sorting of the 12 different chromosomes in these two different species of mice, of rice. So if you look, you have a pattern of green dots and red dots on all the different chromosomes. The design team worked with the researcher on the patterning of these hybridization products. And with that design strategy in mind, the researcher was able to utilize the MyTag probes to divide up or separate the 12 different chromosomes in these two different rice species. Couple type analysis. So generation and study of genetic diversity is critical for both plant and animal breeders. This diversity is generated by the exchange of DNA between homologous parental chromosomes during meiotic crossover units. In this particular experiment, there are two different corn lines, B73 and MO17. The researchers were interested in tracking the genetic contribution of the genetic material on chromosome 10 from these two different parental lines to the hybrid offsprings. So the strategy of the design is to paint arms of the chromosome 10 with a contiguous fluorescent signal, not having little spots like you saw earlier in the indexing experiment. Looking at the chromosome 10 paint pattern of the hybrid generation you see here, you could assess the contribution of the parental lines the MO17 in green, B17 in red, to the offspring, to the hybrid offspring. So you can see different uh, levels of contribution from these different parental lines to the, the hybrid. Nuclear organization with 3D microscopy. The analysis of nuclear topography and the arrangement of genetic material in the nucleus has become a significant player in the study of genetic regulation. In this video, from the study of 3D arrangement of polyteen chromosomes in a species of mosquito, the researchers used chromosome paint strategy to design four different probe sets that hybridized to different arm of a chromosome. In this image, this is a 3D volume rendering of the rearrangement of those chromosomal arms in the nucleus. In this featured application, the researchers were able to use my both RNA and DNA, both in the same cell. These researchers were interested in the expression of a cell cycling gene, cycling Y, during different parts of the cell cycle in human cells. In green, they were able to lo localize the nascent or pre-mRNA product in the cell, and in magenta or purple, they were able to confirm the co-localization of that pre-mRNA with the gene for the cyclin Y. And they were able to then, by a series of time course fixation studies, determine that the cyclin Y upregulation by detection of RNA was during the G0, G1 phase of the cell cycle. So my tags, fish probe offerings. As we mentioned before, we got labeled fish probes available. So these libraries are labeled by our team at Arbor Biosciences. They are ready to use out of the tube upon arrival in your lab. Your synthesis is going to provide a minimum yield of 700 picomoles for you to use. We have a suggested starting concentration at 10 picomoles for hybridization reaction. Of course, for every application and every experiment, this may be different. 
that you have at least a quantity of 70 hybridization reactions per tube for the labeled fish probe products. For the immortal libraries, they can be amplified, giving you an unlimited supply of oligos that can be utilized for labeling. The labeling is performed by you in your lab. We provide you the protocol to do the labeling. This allows for flexibility in labeling schemes based on your experimental design. Maybe one week you want your probes to be green, maybe next you want your probes to be red. With this particular format, you're going to get a minimum of 200 nanograms of double-stranded DNA lab. Immortal library options for generating fish probes. So how do you go from an immortal library to a labeled probe? The strategy behind the labeling process is to designed to guarantee to give you a tag or a label on each and every one of your probes. You're going to start out with PCR amplification of the double-stranded and moral library. You're going to follow that with an in vitro transcription, and that will give you a large library of single-stranded RNA. Then through a process of reverse transcription utilizing a labeled RT primer, you're going to end up with a DNA-RNA hybrid. The DNA-RNA hybrid is denatured, RNA is hydrolyzed. What you end up with in your tube is single-stranded, my tags, label probe, ready to use for your experiment. So the production format. The my tags comes in 20,000, 40,000, 60,000 and up format. Immortal and label ready to use probe sets are produced in those batches of 20K. You're gonna get a unique oligos within those batches. It's not just 20,000 of the same sequence, but 20,000 unique oligos. The batches can be combined to make larger sets, such as 40 and 60. We do have smaller sets available. Those are in our immortal probe set line. They're available in batches of 1.8K and 4K. They're ideal for projects with low number of probes. So the ordering process. Now that you've seen what MyTags has to offer, you're ready to go ahead and design and purchase some for your own experiments. So what you'll do is you'll contact us at Harvard Biosciences, and you're going to give us the specifics or what you're interested in your in the outcome of your project. You're going to give us your target coordinates, what you're shooting to hybridize to. You also have the option of doing your own design, coming up with your own set of probes, Send us those sequences and we can make the probes for you. When you go ahead and submit the target coordinates, we work with you, the bioinformatics team, and we'll design your probe set. Once you've reviewed the probe set and you approve it, the manufacturing of the probes takes about one to two weeks. We follow that up with a quality control with the next generation sequencing analysis, and we will deliver these custom designed custom made probes to you at room temperature in inside of three to four weeks. So here's our contact information. I invite you to visit our website, review our MyTags technology. There you'll find the um, contact info. My name here, Linda Parthel, my email as the lead product scientist. I'm the front door to Arbor Biosciences MyTag products. I'll direct your, I'll coordinate your project direct your design to the bioinformatics team and we'll work together to get you a product to work for your fish experiment. We have a tech support email and an ordering process email to help you go further on in answering or providing any questions regarding applications or orders. At this time, I thank you for listening in and looking forward to hearing from you. Thanks, Linda. That was uh, fantastic. Um, so as a reminder, if you have any questions, uh, if you wouldn't mind uh, putting them in the, the right sidebar uh, where it says questions, and we'll be happy to answer any. Uh, Linda, uh, I've got a couple uh, already, it seems like. Uh, one of them is, uh, can you design uh, these fish probes for unassembled genomes? Yeah, we certainly can. The bioinformatics team has a, a set of tools to be able to um, apply during the design process. Um, all you need to do is give us your, your sequences and, and we can go from there. And it's a one-on-one -on -one, uh, comprehensive 
uh, project reviews. So any questions that come up during the design process, we certainly will uh, get back to the researcher and review and for any clarification for unique types of designs. Okay, excellent. Uh, the the next question is is uh, what is the ideal minimum target size uh, for these probes? Uh, I'm assuming on you know within a chromosome or a region. Right. So the ideal minimum target size would be 10 kilobases or 10 kb. Um, that gives us an appropriate number of probes, and within the design process, we ensure a um, appropriate probe density, which is a minimum of three probes per kb to give you a very bright and specific signal. We can certainly go below that. We have done designs uh, with four kb and less. Uh, it just requires a little bit more um, design trips from our bioinformatics team. And then at that point, we also recommend the 3X uh, fluorescent tag upgrade. Okay, nice. Uh... Uh, we have another question in here. It's uh, do uh, do we have any pan centromeric human mouse uh, or rat DNA probes uh, already labeled with fluorescence? At this point, uh, we do not. It would be um, something that we could consider as a custom design right now. Um, working with you, if that is something you're interested in, um, it is not a standard catalog product. But the design process offered by our bioinformatics team is is by no, is at no charge. So we certainly um, would be able to work with you if that's something you're interested in. Okay. Um, that's all the questions we, uh, we have at the moment. Um, I guess one other question, Linda, just so uh, other people uh are aware what about uh relevant publications i know you you featured some specific applications uh in the discussion here today um are those uh published articles out there or are there other publications you know associated with my tags that that people can locate well we certainly do have a uh, comprehensive list of publications in in the database that can be accessed just go ahead and contact myself through Arbor, and then we can uh, refer you to the appropriate publication or technology that you're interested in. Okay, nice. Um, I got one more uh, new question here on the side. Uh, is there a minimum upfront order required? No, there is not. We do, you know, multiples of probe sets. So if you're interested in just one probe set, one immortal probe set, one pre-labeled probe set, you're certainly, uh, certainly an option for you. We do not have a minimum order. Okay. Um, we can wait, a, uh, I don't know, 30 seconds or so here and see if we get any more uh, questions coming through. Um, Linda, is there anything else you would like to, to share? Um, no, uh, at this point, um, I think what we presented here is a pretty uh, solid uh, information of our current technology and what we have available. I just want to let everybody know we're always looking forward to the future on how we can make the MyTads product better based on maybe possibilities of smaller targets, uh, capabilities of doing um, higher resolution imaging, some of our applications with our MyTags probe have been done with super resolution technology, uh, structured illumination microscopy, uh, several confocal uh, applications out there. So we are constantly exploring how we can make the product better for, for the uh, high-end uh, microscopy and also the, the, um, the demands of the researchers as far as analysis technology. No, that's good, Linda. And I, I guess that's uh, something I always like to point out overall, the collaborative nature of Arbor Biosciences in general, that if you have a unique application or use case, you know, for a product or maybe an adaptation, um, we're always open to that discussions to be able to expand our capabilities and help people expand their research. So Absolutely, Matthew. Yep. Um, I also wanted to point out, um, you know, included uh, with the webinar here, you can download and or are always available on our website. Um, there's obviously the MyTags uh, product sheet. 
um, but there is also a uh, uh, application note, you know, discussing the uh, indexing strategy um, uh, that Linda presented here. Um, there is also a publication note uh, summarizing uh, the publication around uh, haplotyping um, applications using uh, these tags uh, for custom or I should say custom fish probes for haplotyping. Uh, so those are both available uh, to you for download here um, and as well as on our website. So uh, with that, I would uh, like to thank everybody for attending. Uh, this webinar will be posted again uh, to our website uh, as well as our, our webinar channel. So you'll be able to watch it again um, and or share with your colleagues uh, as needed. Um, if you have any further questions downstream, uh, feel free to reach out to Linda at her email address here at lkb at arborbiosci.com uh, or uh, visit arborbiosci.com uh, to learn more about the product. And with that, I'd like to thank everybody.